thank you all for joining us this evening and especially for the men from the military being with us. And again, as Randy said, your service has allowed us the opportunity to enjoy the freedoms we have in this community. And I do thank you personally for joining us this evening. I'd like to thank each of you for giving me this opportunity this year to serve in this position. I promise that I will work hard with the board to do all that we can to help promote your businesses. As I looked back starting a few months ago thinking about tonight, I was out um, at Walmart one evening during the COVID child drive and I saw so many volunteers there that evening and I looked back and I saw the lines and lines of people that were being served and it brought me to think of it is amazing to me what the businessmen and women in this community do to reach out to our community. You all do such a wonderful job of giving to this community and meeting the needs of those in this community. And it truly touched my heart as I looked around at the volunteers on that very icy evening out there helping these families with the basic needs that they had. And to think of all of you who had given money or given of your time to help organize and plan that program. And those things can't be done with just one or two. And it's such a blessing to me to see the way this community reaches out to others. And as I started thinking about it that night, it made me think about the uh, mission for our chamber. And it's printed there on your program, but I would like to read it to you. It says, the Lenten Stockton Chamber of Commerce is dedicated to the promotion and stimulation of the economy of the Lenten community in Green County to enhance the quality of life through business, industry, and recreation. And that night they're watching all of those volunteers. My heart, I thought, as a chamber, we need to give back all that we can to these businesses because it truly is the small businesses in this community that help our community thrive. And we want to thank each one of you for that time of volunteering, the hours you put into helping with the parades and the fish fries and the festivals. That couldn't be done without your help, and we truly do thank you for that. And as a board, we want to give back to you in whatever way we can. And so we've already started looking ahead to 2009 and started to think of new ideas and new programs we can implement that will help bring more business into your establishments, that will help to keep your, your name out in the community so that we can keep people buying here locally and we can continue the wonderful work that's done in this community. One of the first things that we're working toward establishing is a strategic planning committee for the chamber. We're going to look at taking a few of our board members as well as a few of you who are businessmen and women in this community who can help us sit down and take a look at setting goals, one-year goals, five-year goals, as well as ten-year goals, so that we're all on the same page, we're all going in the right direction. That way we can also look back at the end of the year and we can say, okay, have we met that goal? Have we done everything we can to promote these businesses? So we are going to be looking for some volunteers to help us sit down with that and say, what can we do to give back to these businesses? Our second thing that we're already working on is planning a downtown festival for this fall. We're very excited about our chili cook-off and already have started several planning stages of that. Um, we will be looking for some committee members to help us organize that. We will have a wonderful full day of programs and activities in the downtown on October 31st. And we think this festival will be a wonderful opportunity, not just to bring local people back downtown, but we really believe we'll pull a lot of people from outside of our community to come in and join us that day. So I hope you'll be thinking about that in the near future. You'll be hearing a little bit more about the cook-off. And we hope you'll get involved, not just with making chili, but coming out and being involved downtown. One of the third thing that we're working on is the community directory. And I'm sure some of you are beginning to hear about that. We're already in the process of working up the articles that go into that, giving a little information about the community, as well as giving some history of the community. And um, this directory we think will be a wonderful opportunity for us to share with people not only locally but also at a 50 mile radius in this area we plan to distribute this so that people outside of Lynn will know what's available, will know what we have to offer here in Lynn. We also will be able to use it at our boat show in Indianapolis. So it's a wonderful chance for us to show people what is available here in Lynn 
and hopefully draw them to this community. Um, we're in the process not only of compiling the articles, but we're also in the process of selling ads. And it's our hope that each one of our members will purchase an ad so that people can see what we do have to offer here in this community. If you're interested in seeing a sample of the directory, you can see Cheryl. She has one of those and can kind of give you an idea of what that directory will hold and how it will promote the businesses. And if you're interested in purchasing an ad, then feel free to go down to the Daily Citizen and they can help you with that and get that going and get your business recognized in the directory. The fourth program that we're looking to start this year I'm very excited about. It's a program that not only offers state recognition, but also the opportunity to be nationally recognized. We're in the very beginning stages of gathering information to see if this program would be a program that would work for us here in Lenton. If it is a program that we do find to be something that would be helpful to us, and we do become involved with this, it will give us the opportunity to apply for grant money that can be used for downtown renovations, as well as downtown festivals. So it would be a wonderful opportunity, again, for us to be able to offer some additional activities that will help bring people back into our community. And as we gather a little bit more information and as we find that this is a program that will work for us, we will be sharing that information with you as well. Lastly, one of the new programs we talked about the other night that we wanted to start this year was to receive feedback from you all as members. As you came in this evening, we have a box placed outside on the name tag table that um, will allow you to give us suggestions, whether that be a suggestion as to, hey, this has worked, you've done a great job in helping our businesses through this program, or maybe some of you sitting here tonight have a wonderful idea of an activity or a program that we can offer to the entire community. And so we want to know what you think. Are we going the right direction? Do we have things in place to help promote your business to the best of our ability? So please feel free to drop your ideas, drop your suggestions. Each business is a little different, and we might not know exactly what will best benefit your business. So please feel free to give us that feedback and help us know what we as a chamber can do to help your business. And maybe a month, two months from now, you think of an idea, feel free to contact myself, contact Cheryl, or any of our board members. We will be more than happy to sit down with you so that we can go through and gather ideas and to make sure we are heading in the right direction. And again, I do want to um, thank you all very much for this opportunity. Um, we will be working very hard this year to meet, reach our goals and to promote your business with these new programs. And of course, we will be coming to you all for some volunteer time and some for ideas and for help. And we do thank you so much for the time and the work that you all put in to make this such a wonderful community. And thank you very much. <laughs>